am going to do my very first premiere video. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because I've never done a premiere video before. But if it doesn't work as a premiere, we'll just watch it as a regular video. It is going to air in my Friday night live session around 8.30 p.m. October 26, 2018. But after it processes and we've watched it, it will go into my regular video streams. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to call this little series of premieres that I'm going to do on Friday nights, Merry Make. For my first one, I'm going to make something out of these scraps that I've been gluing down in my composition book. Well, I know the something I'm going to make. It is not a new idea. It's nothing uh, that I've invented or discovered or anything like that. But I'm going to use this page because it has Christmassy colors. Yes, it does. It has holiday colors. So I'm going to use this page of scraps. And I'm just going to tear it out if I can. Yes, I can. It's glued in there pretty good. I'm just going to take it out. This is just a composition book that I glued the scrap pages on. I have all sorts of scraps, as you can tell. I'm still gluing them in. So, I also have an Ideals Christmas book that was just sitting around. I'm going to use some of the poetry out of it. I'll come back to that. I have my two and a half inch punch. Oh, you know what I'm going to make now. How about some ATC coins? We'll just set that there. I have some trim. This happens to be some trim that I got on a roll. I'm very happy with using this. I got it for half price. It was $10, but I got it for 5 and I've been using and using and using it. Some glue would be nice to have. A ruler, double-sided tape. Penelope had to get in here. She's going to supervise. Scissors, maybe an ink pen, maybe some paint. Just anything that you have around. This is nothing that's going to be a project where you have to go out and buy things. So the first thing that I'm going to make, I'm going to make two projects. Yes, an ATC coin, and I think I'm going to punch it here. Right out of this was a table napkin. It was a Christmas tree. It still has its tree shape, but I'm just going to punch it maybe right in there. And look, it'll get that pretty red and purples and this color on the back. Now I'm hoping my punch will punch this. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, this will be pretty. Let's go right in. Maybe down here or over this way a little. I think right here. And I think it worked for me. It did. It, it, uh, it wants to hook right in here, right in there at that little groove right there. But I get a pretty fair punch out of it. I just come in and trim it up a little. Isn't that pretty? That was out of a scrap table napkin. And that was just tissue on the back and some scrapbook paper I was going to throw away. So, also, I want to make an ATC. And I think I'll make my ATC right in here. I just love this star shape that I did on the jelly plate with a wooden wooden piece that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I made a paint stamp out of it on my jelly plate. An ATC measures two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. So let's go in here. 
We might have to trim a bit of this off to get what I want. So let's just trim this off. Look, I can do inches out of this. Or even a bookmark. We'll save that. And we want this at two and a half inches. So two and one half. Two and a half inches, isn't that cool? Oh, I love this. I'm going to love it. And at three and a half inches long, so three and a half this way, perfect. Just perfect. So here's my ATC. I'm going to trim this little scrappy part off. You don't have to. Sometimes the scraps are just as fun as the design. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I have my ATC and my ATC coin. I think the ATC coins, let me zoom in a little so you can see these a little better. The ATC coins, I believe, was started by Crafty Hodges. And I think she has a most recent article in one of the Somerset magazines. But we'll give her credit for this wonderful idea of making ATC coins. How fun. And all I'm doing is cutting them out of scraps that I've clutched down in my composition book paper. And look, I have more. I have more here. So... I also have some labels that I got at the Dollar Tree, and what I'm after here are the words Merry Christmas. I need more words, but we're just going to cut those out because it's handy. So I want Merry Christmas on my ATC coin, and let's see, I think, I think I'll just put it like that and make a a bulb out of it but I want to paint the back of it so let's get this we're just gonna paint right on the back of it. it's a to and from tag but we're gonna make a little Christmas hanger out of it so let's just get out some red paint this is Tuscan red this is my favorite red paint it's such a pretty color of red and I'm just going to, well, I guess maybe I should use a brush to paint this with. Keep my fingers as clean as possible during this. And just going to paint it out on the back so that it will at least have some red color. Let's just paint, get it off of my brush too. And I don't care if the to and from shows. Let's dry that with my heat gun. You know what? I think I will paint this and this red too. Now that I look at it, let's just smear some red paint on that. I found I have better luck if I go in and use my finger in the cap, but this is just scrap paper. And you can also do the edges if you want. I'm just going to go around the edges with my paint just to get rid of that white edge. Just like that. Let's go ahead and put the tag on the back just like this. And there will be some showing from the back, but that's okay. That's okay. I like it. it. It looks like a bulb almost. And you don't have to do that you could just cut out your words and put them this way but i think i'm just going to go ahead and glue this right to the back and i'm just going to put some glue down the down the back here and it doesn't matter on this one where i put it so i'm going to put it right there i believe 
and let it hang this way yes and it doesn't even have to hang that could just be like a little bow you could put a little charm on that there we go let's get out some white paper so that you can see the back see it better here's the ATC now let's see what should I put on this I wanted to put some of this trim so I'm gonna put some trim around it and let's see how much I might need I'm just gonna kind of estimate here just by going around the let's see <laughs> let's start here at the at the tab where the tie is and I'm just estimating how much I might need. I'll cut it just a teeny bit bigger. So I'm going to cut it right here. Now I don't want all of this. So I'm just going to cut off one strand of bling. Just like this. Just like that. Now, Aunt Beck at Aunt Beck's Creations really gave me a good idea when I was putting this bling on. And thank you, Aunt Beck. I was putting it around like this, and she said it will curve better if you snip the inner thread. So there are two little threads that are holding these little blings together. And I'm going to snip the inner one probably about every four. So four, four, and even if you would happen to snip it off, you know, slip on your scissors and snip it entirely off, it won't matter because you can, you can place it again. But I think that I'm going to get it here. Four. I might have a little bit longer piece, but I'll snip off what I don't need. Four. And we'll just four there. Now, I have found that this double-sided tape, this is Ms. Sparkles tape. I get it at Joann's in their $2 box. But I find that it really does do a nice job of holding this bling to my ATCs. And what I do is I start maybe about a fourth of an inch in and I'll start just tucking this tape all around the circumference of this circle. And it's okay with the tape to have a little tuck in it because it will it will tape itself to itself, and that's just fine. That actually probably gives it extra strength. So I'm just going around. It doesn't even, when you're making these, you don't have to be perfect with them unless you're giving it to somebody who demands perfection. But most of my friends don't, and I sure don't. The worst trouble I have with this tape is that Sometimes it sticks to my fingers as I'm doing this. <laughs> and I have to pull my fingers off of the tape, but that's okay. I'm just about finished here. Just keep going around the circumference of the circle. Just like that. Tear it off. Get it off of my fingers. Now I want to pull it off of the ATC. So it, if you have it started, it pulls off pretty easy. Just like that. And I've got the little tucks there, but that's fine. Now I want the little clips that I made on the inner circle. I want them on the inside as I put it in. So here they are. Sometimes they kind of twist on you, so you have to 
you have to look. I think they're right here. So I'm going to put it down and start taping this to my coin here, my ATC coin. Just, you kind of have to work with it to get it placed how you want it. But here again, I'm not trying for another perfect circle. I'm just putting it on my ATC. And I found that this tape, this is Ms. Sparkle's tape. I get it at Joann's. And I find that it does a really good job of holding that bling down. Now, if you don't trust your tape, as you're gluing, you can go in and put little spots of glue to strengthen that. But I, for my purposes, I trust this. So there you go. Now I have I have this much left. So let's just cut that off. Maybe I'll give it an extra. Well, no. Let's just cut it off there. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Now, and then I've got the Merry Christmas on the back. Now I want something in there. What do I want to put in there? Let's get out these tags again, and uh, shall we go for, hmm, I think I'll go for the inner part of this snowflake, just the star part, right in there. So I'm going to get one of these out for fun. These cost me a dollar, so I don't mind cutting them up and using them. And then, to, what, there are four, there are 16 in here. So I'm going to just cut this little star out just like this. This is a to and from t name tag that you would put on gifts. And I got it, the whole package of them for a dollar. And let's just put that right in there. I like that. Let's just, let's glue it down. I'm using this Elmer's Extreme Glue. It's a nice tough glue and you can get it both in the glue stick and as a wet glue. I have trouble finding the glue sticks, but I did find some more of the wet glue, which makes me happy. So here you go. There's my coin. Let's see if I can get this off here a little. I have some hand sanitizer on a paper towel. I want to see if I can get where I smeared that paint off of my name tag here. And I am. You just kind of have to work with those things. This is just for me anyway, but in case you do that and don't want to give it away that way, that's a way to clean it off. And it's not even ruining the, the background that says, Merry Christmas. And here's the front. And I'm just going to leave this as kind of like a little decorative element. I was going to tie it into a bow, but I like it just like that. And you could actually make a name tag out of your ATC coins and put a to and from on the back of it. So, and save this. It'll be good for something. Now, let's go to the ATC that I cut. Look at, isn't that cool? Now, because I glued this down on my composition paper, it'll have wrinkles in it depending on how you glue it. But I like it that way. I like it that way. Now, let's get my strips out here, and let's go ahead and put these down. I think this will fit pretty good on there. Let's cut out another strip here, maybe two more. So this is just something fun that you can do to use up your scraps. Use what you have and use the scraps of what you used when you had it. <laughs> this is just getting 
getting the benefit, the full benefit plus from your art supplies. All right, I'm going to go with the double-sided tape again. Let's just glue it, tape it down. And here I don't have to worry about it. puckering or fitting around in a circle. Here I can just put it down along the edge and I'm going to make an ATC. Now I happen to have the reinforced handles on my scissors here. I noticed that Tim Holtz's newer scissors have softer handles but I actually like the hard ones because well see what I'm doing? <laughs> So let's go ahead and pull the tape off. One. Two. Three. Four. And let's put it this way. Now, I think I'll just go ahead and show you on here. I'm not worried about this double-sided tape not holding this. But if your double-sided tape doesn't have the strength to it, just take some little glue dots and the tape will hold it in place while the glue glues it down. Just go all around it with the glue dots. Dots of glue. Now I think I might need one more on this. Let's just cut one off. Put it right down. Right down there. Place it in there. Cut the side right in. Find my tape here. Right there. Now I'm going to snip this side off. Right there. I only snipped one thread. Let's get them both snipped. Do this side. And will I have enough? I think I will. I think I will. Maybe just enough. Just enough. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Now I could come in and paint the edges here if I wanted to. Or maybe straighten it out just a little bit more. You have a little play in here while it's drying to to position it like you want. I'm I'm kind of happy with it not being even. Now on the back, I'm making some Christmas tags and I have some leftover fabric of horses here and I just love them. Let's let's get this one and I'm just going to cut around this horse really fast here just like this let's see I think I can come down this way don't want to cut off his tail Or his feet and I'm gonna leave it kind of frayed at the bottom and he fits on here pretty good I might have to trim that bow just a little now I'm going to attach him with wet glue using my what's in my glue pot this is Elmer school glue and it's diluted three parts glue to one a little less than one part of water and I'm just going to collage that 
fabric down on the back of this just like this and you can go back over it if you want a nice coating on it now I'll have to let this dry because it's wet I'm going to take the heat gun to it while I'm working on it here, but if I was working on it by myself, I would just set this aside and let it dry. I think I will trim off my ATC here, because there's enough of a bow, and there's enough here that I can trim off this part too. Let me hit this with the heat gun. So what do I want to do here? I want more on this. How about doing another star at another one of these name tags? I've got two left. I like these stars, and it'll be kind of a match set with my coin. The stars will tie the two together. Cut it this way and this way. There we go. And let's put that, let's put that star where? Right in, ah, uh, right, no, I think right in here will probably be the best. Now you could put a little puffy dot in there to make it dimensional. I could do that with a, a bling, but for right now, I'm just going to glue it down. Right in there. Just like that. Now, because I want this to sort of match my coin, let's cut this off. I'm going to trim this with just a little bit of red around the edges. Just because, just because, get some red paint on my finger and just go right around the edge this way. And just sort of let that paint on your finger wipe up on the edge and on your hand. <laughs> it just trims it out, makes it pretty, makes it go with the coin. I need some more paint. Let's set that down. Now I have gotten into the habit of turning my paint upside down. I like doing that because when these paint bottles get empty, it puts that paint right up at the top. But I will end up cutting this plastic bottle in half and getting as much paint out of those two ounce paint bottles as I pay for. There we go. I'm gonna put it right down here, put my coin there. Close up my paint before I spill it. Now I could do that on the back too, but I'm not going to here. Paint the edges with red paint. But there you go. Two ATCs. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun? Let's zoom in just a little. Bring this down. Put them right there so that you can see them because I'm gonna take a picture of these and then I will show them at the end of the video. So here are the fronts and here's the back. How fun, how easy, what a great way to use up your scraps. Scraps of your scraps of your scraps until they get so tiny, so tiny, <laughs> 
so tiny that you barely know what to do with them anymore. I might even say that. It's got a really pretty little flower on it. So thank you for watching. And I hope to be back again next week with another Mary Makes Premiere.